every worst thought my friends are in a state of panic we are calling my husband the phone is ringing out we don't know where the car is where the person is my journey to serve swami full time began with a thud it was like a thunder bolt from heaven till then i had a full time job working in corporate communications i was a very active member in my sai center i held many positions i did many seva projects and the sathya sai school of canada had already come in the side wings and i was also involved in it i was part of the spiritual awareness committee what that committee did was to make sure the aarti thali the deep pumps everything was ready the garlands were done and under my watch everybody got the best possible prasadam I thought I was doing my bit but there was a voice inside me that told me this is not it you are on the periphery jump into the ocean you are just touching the water with the to- with your toes on this beach get into dive into it and i was so full of excuses as sometimes we can be i was living in my head i was like you know i have a small i have small children i have a full time job i have a big house i have a long drive to work and i have family i have parents i have in laws how can i possibly do more than this and i need my paycheck right that's when we my husband i and our 2 uh, year old son took a trip in in a big van packed with all sorts of things two year old child we went to us to receive our sister in law who was coming to boston for the first time from india to take up a new assignment it was a very windy very dreadfully wintry day in toronto my daughter my sister my mother in law stayed home in toronto and the drive was very difficult because we have driven that route many times but because of the snow storm on the east coast of america on the way along the way we saw about 40 cars belly up we don't know where the occupants were ambulance must have taken them or something we lost our signal our phone signals we were driving on a four lane highway at the speed of 20 30 kilometers an hour wherever there were tire tracks and with great difficulty we were supposed to reach my uh, anandpur sai sister in the evening we reached her house in the middle of the night it was a nightmare we had lived through next morning we woke up she was coming the next day and we were like thank god we are all alive we are all safe everything is okay and outside her house there was 20 feet snow the ground floor windows all were covered with snow the the snow was going up to the garage height but my husband he this was before google came into uh, became popular so he had all the route to the logan airport in boston uh, we were in massachusetts so he had the uh, route all figured out he spoke to my friend husband and because his sister in law was arriving only around 12 noon or 1 o'clock he decided to go very early so that he could check out the airport familiarize himself give enough time for bad traffic another snow storm and what not so uh, we had breakfast everybody they all went to their work i and the baby stayed home and my husband went to the airport and i didn't hear from him but i didn't make much of it then after about 1 2 o'clock my sister in law calls and uh, she says uh, how come no one has come to pick me i said what are you talking about he my husband had left early in the morning he was supposed to reach the airport 2 3 hours before her arrival she, i said maybe he's around stay in your terminal look out for him stay where you are expected to be in arrival 1 2 3 4 5 6 pm missing in action by this time we were very very worried because it gets very dark very early in the evenings in winter time in that part of the world my sister in law has just arrived after a harrowing long journey from india first time to out of india first time to us without proper winter gear with the best woolen clothes she had bought using every security guard's phone to call me i am calling toronto to check if uh, there has been any police reporting to my family because our car had an ontario license plate every worst thought my friends are in a pa- state of panic we are calling my husband the phone is ringing out we don't know where the car is where the person is there is a relative waiting at the airport 6 hours past her arrival no one to pick her i am stuck in a friend's house with a small child who doesn't understand anything i have another child in toronto I went down to her altar her house had a center in the basement 
And I prayed to Swami and I said, Swami, this is turning very scary, very worrisome. You've got to do something. And I asked Swami, I said, you, I need you to do the following for me. Please reverse the time. Take it back to normalcy. It looks like my husband is missing. Maybe he's been in an accident. Maybe the car crashed. Maybe I don't know what happened to any of anybody. I need, you're the master of time. You're beyond time. Restore the normalcy in my life that existed before he left. I need you to do that. You can do it. And immediately, Swami asked me, what have you done to deserve this compassion from me? And my entire life flashed before my life. And I could remember every occasion when Swami had given me good counsel, sage advice, and I had ignored it and done just the opposite. And I realized so many times Swami told me to work in Satisai School of Canada and I always ignored that also. So I told Swami, Swami, if you can turn the clock, you have it in you to do it. Here's my word to you. Everything you have taught me, as your student and through life, to dot an I and cross a T, or cross a T, I beg your pardon, I will use it only in your mission to glorify you and sing your praise. But you fix my life now. I am not prepared for this eventuality. My condition is pathetic. I am in a foreign country. I am not in Toronto. Half my family is there. One child is in Toronto. One is here. My friends are helpless. My husband is missing. My sister-in-law is struggling on the airport. You have to do something. Do it now. And I give you my word. I will do nothing. I will only live for you, love you, praise you. And I have no other reason to live. The moment we had this pact, the phone rang and my sister-in-law found my husband. He was safe, he was sound. Bright man had left his phone in the car and he, they were both looking for each other at two different terminals. And the whole drama had been orchestrated by Swami to bam, hit me on my head and knock some sense into me and made me realize such a moment can come in our lives at any time. The only way we can be prepared for it by doing seva and being involved in seva.